selective and differential media results. Following incubation, we will observe each individual plate for growth. On Baird Parker agar, growth of coagulase positive Staphylococcus takes on a very distinctive black colour, and the colony is surrounded by a clear zone. Coagulase negative colonies will have no clear zone. Note when there is no growth on one side of the plate, the particular strain of bacteria has been inhibited. Columbia blood agar is a differential and enriched medium. It distinguishes between hemolytic and non-hemolytic species. There are three types of hemolysis. Alpha hemolysis is shown by a green or brown discoloration in the medium. Beta hemolysis is shown by a clear zone surrounding the growth. Gamma hemolysis indicates the lack of hemolysis. There is no reaction in the surrounding medium. Eosine methylene blue agar contains dyes that inhibit the growth of most gram-positive bacteria. Lactose-positive bacteria produce a metallic sheen and lactose-negative bacteria are colourless. No growth of a bacterium indicates it is inhibited and is gram-positive. Membrane laurel sulphate agar contains sodium laurel sulphate. Only bacteria that can tolerate this sodium laurel sulphate can grow. Lactose positive bacteria are indicated by a change of colour in the medium from red to yellow. Lactose negative bacteria do not produce this colour change, so remain red. Manitol salsager is selective for species of Staphylococcus due to high salt concentrations in the medium. A yellow colour change in the medium indicates mannitol breakdown and no colour change indicates the bacterium is mannitol negative. McConkie agar is selective because only bile salt tolerant gram negative bacteria can be grown on the medium. Lactose positive organisms appear as dark red or fuchsia colonies on the agar plate. Lactose negative growth is colourless. If an inoculated culture does not grow, then it can be concluded that it is gram positive. 